for the first album, like I had a few lyrics, not, not particularly good ones. Jack contributed some lyrics, Paul contributed a few. And then on the second one, it was kind of like, well, we were concentrating more on the music. He wanted to write the lyrics. Hey, go for it. You're the singer. Sure, write the lyrics, you know? And yeah, they were some brutal, gr graphic, horrific lyrics that, you know, stirred up some controversy, got things moving. He was one of the progenitors of the gore style, you know? He helped create the style of the gore lyrics. I had a lot of fun. I remember, you know, laying in bed with a pet, pen and paper and my Walkman on and writing lyrics to uh, Vomit the Soul. And of course, their style definitely changed over records. With the change of the music, the vocals changed fittingly. When you look at how quick of a turnaround it went from, say, the demo to Butchered at Birth, it's night and day. <laughs> He started out having more of a creator or accused kind of voice, more of a like, like a raspier, higher stuff, which is still killer and in, in a way could be considered a different type of death metal vocal. I knew early on when I was singing cover songs that I could never really sing high, like Rob Helford or Jeff Tate, which I loved. I wish I could have sang like that, but I just didn't have that register in my voice, so I just kind of kept trying to blend my voice into the music a little bit more. He went from here to like really low, like guttural vocals, like super low. Just like, whoa, <laughs> this is crazy sound. <laughs> Just decided that was the way to go with the lyrics he was writing and the music we were writing. It's just kind of fit and it was a natural thing for him to just go lower and lower and <laughs> see how heavy the vocals could be. The music was getting heavier and more chunky and just brutal, so I figured I would have to become another instrument as far as on top of the music.